Hi everyone, it's Vela from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 Editor tutorial for you. This one's in response to a few questions I've had about side chat. Now normally side chat would appear in the bottom left of the screen. Um, it doesn't look great, so here's some improvements for you. And there are a couple of easy ways to add better side chat to your missions. This first one I'm going to walk into a trigger and I'm going to have some side chat appear in the bottom center of the screen and it will have a colored name for the person speaking. So it's blue, commanding officer, the orders group will be in 10 minutes, get your section ready to move, carry on. So that's actually a simple code that doesn't require an additional script and I'll show you how to do that shortly. So I've been given an orders group, so I'm gonna go have a conversation with my section, which is an SQF script, which is again, very easy to use and I'll make sure that you've got a copy of that that you can grab. Now I'm going to have a conversation with my section because I need to take these guys out on patrol. And you see we've got a conversation started and the name of the speaker. Again, the name of the next speaker will appear there. And you can have a conversation, you can enter a conversation into the script as long as you want it to be and have whatever information in there that you want to have. And now I'll show you how to do this for your own missions. So for the first uh, trigger here, where I get the chat appear in the center of the screen with a colored name because I'm speaking to this guy. Um, just place a trigger, it can be uh, any size you like, but um, only really need to have it in the area that you're going to be walking into to activate the trigger. And we're just going to open the trigger by double left click. And we're going to have activation any player present. So that's any human player. That doesn't mean blue for AI. And in here we just have a simple script. And if you have a look at the script, uh, what we have here is a a hex color code, which is the color of the text that appears when you see the name of the character speaking. Okay, so and you can change that in there to whatever you like. Uh, then next you'll see the actual text that is spoken. That's the first line. And then the second line of text and then the last line. So each of these lines has a break HTML code, which is just um, in brackets br forward slash end bracket. And you just copy all of that text, put it into a trigger, and then edit it as you see fit. So that's the first way we can do this. And of course, I will supply a mission folder that you can download uh, with all of this in it already so you don't have to worry about typing all that out. The second one is I've just placed all these guys here to uh, have a section to speak to. Again I've placed another trigger with any player present and in this all I've done is put a command to execute an SQS, SQF script which I've called OCB chat one sqf all right and again i will supply this in a mission so you can download it and use it how you like now we'll have a quick look at the actual script so that you can see how a chat or a conversation is built using this script so here is the script that drives the conversation i have with my section so it's pretty simple we've got an open bracket and the name of the speaker in inverted commas then a comma and then all the conversation that I'm going to have with them in inverted commas, again, close brackets, and then afterwards, spawn, BIS, FNC, show subtitle, and then semicolon. Between each of these uh, sections of text, I have a sleep command. So when this chat starts, a delay of seven seconds will start. When this chat starts, a delay of five seconds will start, and so on and you can have as many lines as you like, just provided you put some sort of sleep in between each of the lines, you can have as many as you like, and that's 
pretty much all you need to do with this script. Uh, this will be included in the downloadable mission file, so you won't need to worry about typing this out. Uh, you can just edit it as you see fit. Obviously, this is the section where the text goes that you'll just need to type in to use for your missions. And to show how easy this is to use uh, with this particular trigger, I've just copied it and pasted it here. All I've done here is change the color hex code, the name of the person speaking, and the text. Uh, and that's as simple as it gets. So I'll show you that this text and then this one work on a trigger with any player present. So here we'll get the first text pop off. I'll put a delay of four seconds on this. There it is. So we've got that one. And I've placed another guy over here with an additional uh, trigger with that code in it. And he's going to tell me something different. This guy's the quartermaster, and there's some text down there for him. So what I've done is I've moved all of this stuff um, to Altus so that the mission that you guys grab has no mods in it at all. And you can see it doesn't matter where you drag it to or what mission you're using or what mods you're using, this is just going to work for you. Okay, so there's the original message that I got. Now, the quartermaster is going to tell me to send my guys to him if they need ammo. And then I go and see my section and the chat between me and them will start. That's uh, pretty much all it is and you'll have better side chat in your missions. Uh, it looks a lot better than the normal side chat that appears down in the left-hand corner. Um, it just looks sharper and more professional. It adds a bit more polish to your missions. That's about it. Uh, I will thank you, though, to the uh, subscribers and the people who visit my channel to watch. I've now surpassed 4,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. I cannot thank you enough. I'm going to be doing some uh, special videos soon to celebrate 4,000 subs. As always, guys uh, and gals and everyone else, thank you for watching. Uh, be kind to yourselves and others, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.